welcome back to my channel I have created this full glam for you guys it's a classic eyeliner with a bold red lip it's perfect for this season for parties or like Christmas events that you have going on um, so stay tuned to see how I create this lovely glam look for you guys see you in a bit so I'm going to start off with the Kiko concealer as usual in the shade number 6 and I'm going to apply that under my eyes and then next up I'm going to use a Graphitobian foundation palette and I'm going to use the light two colours and then mix them up and use it for my base for my eyes I'm going to use the foundation brush and use it to clean out the edges so that it smooths out the corners of the base then I'm going to use the all nighter um, waterproof setting powder and just mattify the eyelid then I'm also going to use the powder on all over the face to mattify um, this just keeps as you know my skin from getting really shiny throughout the day and holds it for much longer next up I'm going to use the Huda Beauty Warm Obsession Palette and I'm going to use a lighter shade and apply that all over the lid then next up I'm going to use the Warm Brown shade and use that over the crease line for a transition shade Next I'm going to use a warmer brown and apply that again over the crease to add more depth. And then I'm going to use the Huda Beauty Rose Gold palette and I'm going to use the shade Coco and again add more depth as I want it to be more darker on the crease line <laughs> and then I'm going to use the same concealer over and I'm going to use a smaller uh, brush to kind of carve out um, the line so that the line is a bit more sharper this is going to create like a soft cut crease Throughout the whole video I'm having to use a small mirror up close because I'm not wearing my contacts so I'm kind of taking a break from it. The struggle of not being able to see what I'm applying because I can't see the far away mirror. Um, so that's why I'm using the mirror, just what I let you know. And then I'm going to go back in with the lighter shade and apply that on the where I've applied the concealer and I'm just going to use that to mattify it next up I'm using Inglot um, eyeliner um, gel eyeliner and I'm going to use um, an angled eyeliner brush and use it to apply the gel so I'm going to start off with soft strokes and follow the eye where I've created a little gap for it so that I can follow where the point is
Next up, I'm going back in with the concealer and using the um, flat brush to just clean off the edges so that the eyeliner looks more sharp. And then I'm going to use the NYX liquid eyeliner. I'm just going to give that a shake and I'm going to go over the where I've applied the gel eyeliner so that the eyeliner becomes a bit more intense black. And just going to follow where I've applied the gel eyeliner. When I do my eyeliner, I like to go right up close to the mirror so I can see what I'm doing. Plus, when I'm not wearing my contacts, it just makes it really difficult. So I'm having to go really close up. And then again, I'm going to use a concealer to just clean it off if I've made any mistakes. I just like to use a concealer to correct it. Then I'm going to use the Curler Mascara by YSL and just go over my lashes. The same again on the other eye. Then I'm going to go back in with the warm shades and apply um, those colours under my waterline using a small brush. Then I'm going to use a Rimmel um, Nude Eyeliner and apply that on my waterline and make my eyes appear more bigger. And I'm going to use a smaller brush and go back in with the warm brown shade and apply that under the bottom. And then same on the other eye. And then I'm going to use a smaller fluffy brush to kind of blend that out a bit. I'm going to use a brown pencil um, to kind of add a more darker shade so that it intensifies the bottom colour. And then I'm going to use the same mascara curler by YSL and apply it on the bottom lashes. I like to go back in with the spoolie and separate the lashes because I don't like my lashes looking clumped. I go back in with the eyeliner in NYX and just fill in the gaps because sometimes when I apply the lashes, the glue kind of goes over. It's a bit tricky sometimes. Then I'm going to use the Graphitorian palette in the cream shades. I'm using the shade yellow and I mix it with the light shade to conceal um, the areas as it's a full glam look. And I'm using a smaller concealer brush. So I'm kind of creating like a triangle and I go over the cupid's whole area and all of the areas that you want to highlight. And next up I'm using the darker shades in the palette and using a different brush of course to um, contour the areas. Next up I'm using a damp beauty blender and I'm going over the concealed the concealer areas where I've applied the light highlighted areas and I'm going to blend that out quickly. Then I'm going to blend out the darker areas. The reason why I like to go and do the highlighted areas is because so that it doesn't um, look all muddy of course or else it's going to look horrible if you do the darker shades first. But use a different side of the sponge. Next up, I'm going to use the Hoola Beauty um, bronzer and I'm using the brush from it to just go over the areas that I've contoured and to set the contour areas, of course. And just keep applying more to how deep you want it. So the more you apply, the more deeper the colours are. And 
Next up, I'm using my favorite palette, of course, in Anastasia Contour Palette uh, Powder. I'm using the uh, uh, Real Techniques Angled Brush and just sweeping over the contoured areas. Um, I like to mix up the brown so that it's kind of blended in. Next up, I'm using my favorite kick-ass powder as it's in the shade like yellow so that it brightens up under the eye. Plus it gets rid of any whiteness. And I'm just going over the areas that I've um, highlighted. Next up, I'm using the Hot Mama um, blusher by the Balm Cosmetics and I'm using my favorite uh, blusher brush and I'm gonna use the setting spray but I've indicated to set and mattify those areas and just let that dry of course. Next up I'm using the model's own highlighter and I swear to you this highlighter I feel like is a dupe to um, the Fenty um, gold highlighter I believe, can't remember the name but uh, this highlighter is so pigmented. I'll list down the name of the model's own highlighter palette. I, I can't remember what it's called, but I'll link it down below for you guys. And I'm using the same highlighter brushes that I like using and using it. I, I like using the small brush to go over the small areas. And of course, for the bigger areas, I like to use a medium brush for highlighting. Next up, I'm using the Souffle powder in number two and buffing out the whole face so that it blends everything together and doesn't look too harsh in certain areas. Plus the powder is so fine, it doesn't look um, too much. I'm using the Milani Lip Liner Pencil. I will link down the name of the color because I can't remember right now, but I'm gonna line my lips with that shade. And I'm kind of blocking out what I'm doing because I have to look so close up to the mirror. Sorry, guys. Next up, I'm using the Jerry Cosmetics um, Liquid Matte um, in the shade Immortal. And it's a very bright red colour. Um, it dries down really nice as well. And it's... It's lasting all day and it's such a nice red color so I thought it would be perfect for this kind of look that I'm going for. Then I do like to go back in with the lip pencil as always and just fill in the gap. Next up I'm using Jared Cosmetics setting spray to kind of set and hydrate and mattify my face so that it stays like that all day. And I'm going to go back in with the NYX eyeliner. I just feel like there was a bit of a gap so I'm just going to fill up, fill up those areas. We do want a perfect eyeliner for this glam look. And I've popped some earrings by La Visa, of course, and I've just styled my hair in a turban, which is more kind of chic look for this. Hope you guys enjoyed watching. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. See you again on the next video. Bye.